Okay, what's up, no shame gang? Hey, bitch. It's your girl, Unapologetically Me, and we are about to get our walk on. So let's go get off into this cardio. Let's go. Y'all forgot to stretch. Stretching is everything. It's everything. I forgot. <sighs> it's everything, guys. Let's got some interesting conversation today. And the first topic of my conversation, guys, is, is that I put the second video up of the stalker situation, and then y'all noticed I took it down. She called the police. Oh, just if I didn't tell you yet, my, my body camera is on. And okay. recording audio right. and video. That's fine. Right. just have to tell you. I don't know what she called him for, but if it was for me, I just took it down to make sure I was in the right about everything. And I am, because she has been harassing me going on almost two years now. And when I say harassing, I mean just stalking me in my apartment. I can't even shit in peace. <laughs> you know? And it's a problem when it's just no way that we wake up at the same time every morning we go to bed i don't care what time i go to bed friday night today is oh man i forgot my tracker that's all right i got the video hey how you doing i got my tracker so i just know if i go up do a full lap and then double back and do a half a lap. That's going to be a mile. Dang, I can't believe that. I need my phone. Y'all, I'm going back to get my phone. I am just going back to get it because I need that tracking information. And damn, my hip kind of hurting. What? So, anyway, anywho, guys. I don't know who she called the police on, but I know I was ready. I just took it down to make sure I was in the right. I had to read up on some stuff, which I had already read the RTA, which is the Residential Tenancies Act. I had already knew about that. And the part about you have the right to have a peace of mind in your own place. You shouldn't have to be dealing with a neighbor just constantly following you around. And let's say she take it to the office. I want her to. If she called the police on me, I'm glad she did. Cause I'm sick and tired of dealing with this. So I done told so many people about it, probably close to a hundred. What? Coworkers, my boss and them, I done told everybody about this because it really wears me down. And I'm sick of her. I don't know what her fucking problem is, but I, I, I mean, you know, to each his own. I don't like women like that. And if I did, she definitely ain't my type. Period, bitch. Period. So, I forgot. Forgot my damn phone. So, yeah, y'all. And that's where we at with it. And if she keep continuing to do it, more videos for me, because I'm a well ass out. Don't try to get mad when you are uh, sitting there bothering somebody every day. Nah, that ain't how it works. Don't get my phone, y'all. I'm cleaning my carpet today. I can't believe I left my phone back here. Y'all excuse my room. Right here on the charger. My little breathing, my, well, I call it, it really is a breathing machine, but it's CPAP machine. 
I'm gonna get mad and call the motherfucking police because you stalking somebody. <laughs> Please. I want her to go to the office. Okay, let me put on my tracker. Hell. I got ring doorbell too, so I can put on there when she called the police. I wish the fuck she would. I want her to go to the office because she going to end up paying me damages. <laughs> who, I don't, I can't wrap it around my mind who would take the time out of every day of that. She can't even work for following me around. Cause I know she's supposed to be in one room. I wish I could knew her about. I remember where she worked that she told me one time. But uh I would definitely report her ass, cause ain't no way she's standing doing what they tell her to do as far as working at home. And she following me all around my house all fucking day long. So when I'm there. So I didn't even start the to... Oh God. I'm not starting over. I'm just going to start it now. I be talking too much. But y'all, yeah. And I have my Peter meter, so I can use those steps too. Which would be great, because it tricks me automatically. So I'm going to put that. I keep saying I'm going to put these in there, but then I don't. So... Yeah, y'all. She didn't call the motherfucker. I don't know who she called the police for, but I want to think she called because I put that post out and I put her real picture on there. So, that's what the fuck she get. She need to leave people alone. And, let's, and it's going to be hard for her to stop y'all. Especially if you've been doing something for almost two years. Because I kind of felt it a little bit yesterday, but not so much last night. But not so much. I felt like she slick gonna be trying to do it, but I'm a slick catcher every time because that microphone picks, it's powerful, baby. GoPro, you can't fuck with the GoPro. So, you know, like I said, I ain't had no problems with that lady. I used to think she was a nice lady till I started seeing that, you know, she in every room I'm in for. <coughs> And then I thought I was tripping, like I said in the first video. And long story short, she she can't do shit. And she better hope I don't do nothing, because I want her to go to the uh, rent office. I really do. I want her to go to the rent office. Hey, Miss Omega. I'm good. Yeah, I'm off to Mara too. Many, many minutes later. Yeah, but no, I know they want her. Okay, but I gotta go because I want to get through, okay? But I love you. And I know your dinner was spectacular yesterday, wasn't it? You did me wrong, honey. I had macaroni and cheese, first fried corn. I don't even want to talk to you. Look, I don't even want to talk to you because I know it was delicious, but guess who I got to play from? Mudia, she throw down. Mudia. Maria, that's still around here, Marion Ford. I don't know. She's still across from the mailbox. She don't really, she just don't, she don't walk a lot cause you know. But anyway, she, she cooked, she throw down, she did a uh, hen and dressing, macaroni and cheese, sweet potatoes, greens, uh, had the cranberry sauce. I messed that food up. Oh, I bet that was good. Make my to-go plate. I'll be up one more time now. I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. You too. I'll be walking this time every morning. When I'm off. Yes, I'm tent. Okay, and I'll be looking for you, okay? Okay, you too. So yeah, yeah. Bitch gonna call the fucking police. Oh, just if I didn't tell you, yeah, my my body camera is on and okay. recording audio and video.
Like, really, bitch? If she want to take her father, she can, because I'm ready. Because she going to end up paying me fines. Because I got plenty of proof, and I done told over, I probably close to 100 people. All these years have been going, my whole family know about it. All my best friends know about it. Everybody that I work with know about it. Anybody I come in contact. Even my neighbor, Muddy, knows about it. What? She was like, will not you, Muddy was like, will not you talk to her? I don't want to talk to that lady. That'll just be feeding into her sick mind. Why would I want to talk to her? She know what she doing. I see she calmed her ass down last night. And if she don't calm down, I'm going to keep putting videos out. Period, bitch. Period. Because uh, I'm sick of this shit. Going on for almost damn two years. She ain't got shit else better to do. Go wash your ass. <laughs> wash your ass, honey. Get in the shower. Do something. Clean that damn house up. Because I don't never hear nothing but a wash and dry. She washes them. She washes, though. But... Mm-hmm. Guess she thought she was scaring me, honey. I was ready, honey. She they ain't even come over my house. They left. Congratulations. Uh you played yourself. <laughs> so let her make her next move. I'm waiting. Cause I should have been on went to the office, but it sound crazy. So now that she's took the first, she's made her first move and called the police, which was unfruitful, uneventful, nothing happened. Let's see what she's going to do next. He probably told she need to go to the rent office. Probably told she ain't nothing they can do. And then I took the video down. She come out the door, looked at my camera and smirked. I just insert that in there. And here, I'll show you a fucking smirk fucking play with me she mad cuz I put it in a bad light I didn't really put it in a bad light I just put it in the light that she is in that's how she look walking around with dirty nasty ass fingernails that's why I'm so glad that one day this is shortly after I cut her off and I stopped dealing with her. I guess she could tell I wasn't hardly talking to her no more don't ask me did I want a plate her daughter cooked. I was like, what y'all having? Simon and I think it was asparagus. I told her to send me a picture. That shit looks so nasty. I was like, no, thank you. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I wouldn't dare eat out of you. I already knew she was nasty because I ain't never here no, here no water. At some point in time, and I even thought, well, you know, Maybe she takes showers when when you're not that when you're uh, at work. But how can she stop working to take a shower? That just don't make sense. But I don't know. I don't never hear none. And when I be off, I don't hear showers. I don't hear nothing. I hear running back and forth in that bathroom. I'm going to wash my damn hands because I be in food all the time. And even if I want, that's just sanitary. <laughs> Dirty ass. Now I'm glad I didn't take that food. She probably, ugh, probably would have did try to put something in my food. What? You can't eat from everybody, y'all. Then gonna try to get mad. Cause see, I when I blurred her picture on in the community tell, she didn't mind that because you couldn't really see her. But then when I put her whole face on the thumbnail and inside of the video. Oh, she mad now. She big mad. Well, she can stay big mad. She needs to stop stalking people. Get your life. Go out with your baby daddy. Do something. Oh, you can stay in your house. Just mind your own business. Following me around like she obsessed with me. And I think she is. Because I don't understand how this could be going on this long. I would never waste my time worrying about what the other person doing up in their house or following them around. What kind of mind is that? That's a sick mind. That's somebody that probably got mental health issues. 
She gotta have something mentally wrong with her. She gotta have something wrong with her, y'all. And I don't care. She, I'm ready for her because I am so stressed out from this shit. And you know, I try to like not let it bother me, but when it's just on you, she does it relentlessly every day. Every day. It's just like I be like, I ain't focusing on her today. I'm just gonna go in my house. But I can't every time I turn around, she's creaking over my head. And then if I get somewhere, I gotta get in my house and be still. Where they doing that at? You got to be still in your house because you don't want nobody. You don't want her to find you because you know she's following you and just being a nuisance. <laughs> that, don't, it don't, that don't even sound right. But that's what I was doing. And then when I'm quiet and she can't find me, Lord forbid, because I, I have a cough, y'all, because allergies. And as soon as I cough, I try not to cough hard. She hear me. She must don't have nothing on up there. When I tell you, how do she hear me if I'm she in the front and I'm in the back? Y'all seen on the last video, she stands up there all day in the hallway. And you can tell because if I stand there long enough, you'll hear start to move around.
So, I'm waiting on her. I'm waiting on her to report it to the office because she's going to be moving her ass up out of there. Because that's tenant harassment. And she fucking with the right one. Because I've been and got an attorney and she'll be paying me restitution, honey. Or whatever you call it. Fines or whatever. Because it's ridiculous. It's right, and I'm venting y'all because this has been going on too long. And I'm glad, I'm really glad she called the police because this taking it to a whole new level. This taking it to a level where it needs to go. But for some reason, I didn't take it there yet. But I was I was working my way up to it, but I didn't want people to think I was crazy. Uh, girl, you tripping. I'm not tripping. But I know I'm tired of it. So, I'm glad she called the police because she has elevated it to the next level and I'm ready to pursue it. So, she the one gonna have to end up moving though. I don't pay that woman no attention. I don't. I got my own life, even if I ain't doing none. I'm in my own house. I'm, I'm enjoying my own peace and quiet. Not worried about what nobody upstairs doing. How you doing? Not worried about what nobody upstairs doing at all. Shit, I got my own damn issues. What little bit I do have to worry about. And sitting there worried about... uh. What the fuck she up there doing? She definitely. So. That was my vent, y'all. I appreciate y'all listening to it because, like I said, I was literally fed up, but I was trying to find ways to deal with it. Like, trying not to let it upset me. But when it's a constant and it's all day, all day, it, I mean, unless she go somewhere. And like I said in one video, I'm gonna put that clip up too. It's like, if she go somewhere or if I got to go to work, I'm gonna use that. If I go to work and I'm gone, that used to be the best break of my life. Going to work and not having to deal with the annoying squeaking and then you hear tiptoeing following me and stuff like that and when i went to work it was like the best break from this and what make it so bad is is that i felt like and i put this in a previous video that i didn't air yet it's like when I go to work and come home and I walk through my door, the way she be start following me around, it's like a, a puppy or a dog that has been way, the owner just getting home and they excited to see him. And they all over the place. It was like, I think, it, I almost feel like I was her life. Like, she does nothing. So, it's like she don't got shit to do. And she don't. All she do is step in the house, and Lord, she love to eat. You ain't never laugh. You ain't never laugh. I almost want to thank, I don't know what it is. I can't put it together, y'all. I've been doing this for a year, trying to figure out why this lady doing this. And I can't come up with not one reason, but several. So, hey, how you doing? Hey, there. Hi. Oh yeah, I just started back walking probably about a couple of weeks ago. Okay, mm -hmm. nice you too. All right, How beautiful! Wave. Look at her. Soon as you waved, honey, she waved. <laughs> you on my YouTube channel? You want to say hi? Okay. You, okay then. All right. 
Yeah, I said, you're on my YouTube channel. If you don't want me to put you in, I can cut this part out. Oh, yeah, I'm okay. Well, thank you. Yes, no, I'm like, no, I'm just recording where I can edit it because some people don't want to, you know, some I respect that. Yeah. But just say, What's up, YouTube fam? What's up, YouTube fam? Y'all see, what's your name? Stephanie. Stephanie, it's nice to meet you. Nice to nice meet you. To meet you. Mm -hmm. you too. Bye, baby. Oh, she's so cute. That's your grandbaby. No, this mine. Okay, well, I didn't know because you got a head on. You don't look old. I just can't really I'm see. Not. That's okay, honey. Still, still, look, still popping. <laughs> hey, you know what? That might be the best thing nowadays because you don't know if they're going to come home or not now. With the way these crazy-ass people are now, uh, I don't blame you. And my niece, she homeschools her girls, too, and I'm so glad because I don't know what this world coming to. You just got to live in it, but you have a good one, okay? All righty. And so, yeah, y'all, uh, yeah, it's just like, she, I don't know, I, I almost want to feel like the way she was doing it, and uh, as much, and it's like she was obsessed with me, like, she had made me her life, you know, and these are my opinions about what I have experienced with her. She had made me, because what, what else would you think if this person is like, Every day, I mean, I didn't get a break, y'all. I mean, for real, it's like it wasn't no Sundays off. She or some days she didn't do it. She did it every freaking day. And mad because I showed what she looked like. Oh well. So whenever she ready to go on over to the office, she can do that. Cause I'm ready. Cause she the one gonna get end up getting put out. Cause I got plenty of proof on her ass. She probably up there watching y'all. She got the blinds out now. She don't. They go her blinds right there, honey. She's probably watching. Let her get a good look. You so I will pull up blinds. I always say, why you get up and open your damn blinds at six o'clock in the morning, seven o'clock in the morning, when you don't even gotta be up that early. But I can't say nothing about that cause people. Some people just open their blinds to let the sun in. I don't know. But in her case, I think it was to watch me because of what the the situation of what's been going on. Hey, y'all, I might do two laps today because I feel good. So, see how many we gonna do. Don't give me the real deal. Y'all be tripping. At least I'm being me, though. I ain't gonna be... Oh, girl, no, ma'am. Uh-uh, honey, girl, child. No. Nah. Nope, that ain't none of me. Uh, we're saying I done walked a little bit over half a mile, which is probably true. I think I did a little bit more. But let's just go. It's at point sixty-six on here. Let's see what the Peter meter says. Because that that's going to be legit. I use that when I'm at work, too. Okay, so far, I have walked point eight, not point six. Y'all see it? I have walked point eight, and I have taken 1,736 steps. Now I'm on 41. So we ticking, y'all. Y'all see it? We ticking. Let's see what this orange. And I'm a good person, y'all. I try to help anybody. And it just, this right here with Miss Dion just done taught me. You got to be careful. Don't be too friendly with people. And, because I'm too damn friendly. Don't be too friendly with them, because you don't never know. It's got to be careful of people. And I really don't think I'm going to stop being friendly. I just got to be more observing, but I never saw this coming with Miss Dion. The thing about it is, when my, I still had my son, my adopted son, I'm going to just say my son. When I still had my son, like if I'm talking to him about therapy or I'm getting on him about something, we always noticed that she was following us around the house. And that's just a no, nosy neighbor. I didn't know alarms go up about that. 
Hell, some jumping off down there, shit. I might listen if it was, I was living on top of it. I might be like, well, what the hell going on? But I ain't gonna be following them from room to room, but I still just talk, chalk that up to being nosy, okay? And then, when my son left, I still didn't really pay it too much attention because we was cool and I was giving her plates. Did I? I think I had started to cut her off. I think I had, before my son left, I had started to shy away from her. I don't remember if it was before. I want to thank because I think my son was gone, yeah. After he left, it's when I noticed, I started to notice that she was, you know, I, let me just scratch out there. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. So, after my son left, you know, I used to, you know, I thought she was cool people, give her plates and stuff and you know, she didn't, every time, every time I cooked it, y'all know that was almost every day. At least three, four times out of a seven day week. Three, four times out of the week, I was keep cooking. She got, she was the first one I would give a play to. I would call her, I would ask her if she want something to drink. She, I thought she was cool. But when I cut her off, because she started getting too clingy, like, and started being a little bit too intrusive, you know, in my business, telling me what time I left, what time I came back, and that, that was kind of weird, and, you know, a flag went up the first time she did it, because I don't like nobody, because I don't do shit, who does that? I don't got time to be worried about what time you came in, what time you left, how long you stayed in your house before you left again, what you had on, how your hair was, I don't have time for that, I don't care about all that. Hell, I could speak to you and not even know you got hair braids in your hair. Because I don't be looking at nobody like that. So, for her to have such detail, she had to be what they call it, eyeballing me. That means, like, she was looking at every detail. That's weird to me. I also went through, she only did this because I'm not here to make up no lies. But I only noticed it. Maybe about, I think this went on maybe almost a week when I started to notice because I was working late at night at Walmart because we didn't have no closers. So I would have to stay out the four. And by the time I would get home, you know, in the winter, it gets darker faster. And by the time I would get home, uh, it would be dark, to, you know, like sometimes completely dark if I got home at 6 30 or 7. And I noticed one time I got, when I came in, all her lights was off. And I know she does that a lot, sits up there in the pitch black. Ain't no TVs on the none because she have the, she have all her blinds open. So she could see when you pull up, it'd be pitch black. I mean, no TV, no computer light or nothing. And y'all see the parking lot. By the time I pull up, I always back in. When I pull up, I look up there and I see that they're all open as pitch black. I'm thinking she may be in the back of the house. Maybe looking at TV in her room, you know, I do. And then as soon as I back in, it don't take no time to pull up and back in in these parking spaces. Soon as I back in, when I get out the car, all the light front lights on are in the front of her house. Like, and this went on for about, I ain't gonna, I'm not here to lie, guys. I think I noticed it about three or four days. And then I started telling people about it on the phone. And I knew she could hear me talking because I was talking loud because I wanted her to hear me. And then that kind of stopped. But, because I, I said something about I was recording it. And then that stopped. But that went on for about four days. I mean, pitch black. And then when I get out the car, she would, uh turn on all the lights to be on like she been waiting on me to get there I wasn't even supposed to do a full one but I want to I was just supposed to do one and go up and do a half but 
I'm feel I'm glad I did do a full one. And I won't be y'all, I show y'all when we get up here. So this whole walk has just basically been me venting and that's it. Okay, and also guys, we're almost there. And you know, people, you gotta stay on the lookout. You gotta stay vigilant because that's what people get comfortable with doing stuff and then they don't keep one eye open. I keep both eyes open. But, and then something happened. Like they said, we got a lurker around. He probably ain't out now because the maintenance man is out and all that kind of stuff. But y'all see over here, where I used to take this sidewalk right here. I'm gonna turn all the way around so y'all can see. I used to take this sidewalk right here and I would go down and walk behind this garage and come back up on the other side. I ain't doing that no more. Cause if somebody wants you, they could park down on that street down there and just drag my ass on down there, you know? And I'm gone, so I'm just staying invisible. Invis stay visible, that's what I'm gonna do. Message! So, this walk is just about over, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed the conversation. I enjoyed talking to you guys. And you know, this is like a way to vent because I'm telling you, I don't bother nobody. And I, even though you guys are not here with me, I know that, you know, you'll see this. And it's our way of communicating. The only way we have to communicate. So, this video is almost over, guys. Once I make it, this is my last lap. I did do two full ones. Yay me. Clap, 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 clap. <laughs> and then I, had, I got to talk to my one of my best friends. I mean, she's like... I'm, she's like my niece for real. And I've been knowing her family for almost 40 years. Uh, and I'm actually like best friends. We're not even best friends, we're family now. With her mom now, man, I used to babysit her. And we talked last night and, you know, y'all, I've been kind of a little bit depressed since my son been gone. And depression comes in all different shades and all different people react to it differently. I didn't really think I was depressed, but I just know I wasn't cleaning up like I normally do. And then when I did that last cleaning Vic video that I just brought to y'all about a week ago, that's when I came out of it because I knew that I was cleaning up, don't get me wrong, but my house used to be not spotless, but I just noticed I was always, instead, I put, give you an example. Instead of washing the clothes and folding them up like I normally did, like that same day, I just started just throwing them on the bed cause they clean, you know. And just to realize that now, you know, I don't even want to walk by her wonder, y'all. She just, I don't like her, cause I don't like how she just intruded on me. Like, you know, you can't, if people invite you in, that's a different story, but you don't just be getting in people business like that and then unwanted attention. She know I didn't like it. And then, like I said, I forgot, I don't know if I told y'all this, but like, if I be real still, when she come in and she can't find me cause she ain't been there all day, so she don't know where I'm at. Or if I turn my TVs up in all the rooms, that's normally what I try to do. But if I cough, she'll find me. But if I turn my TV off, she will. Let's see what they doing to the pool. She'll start making loud noises like, oh, uh, she'll start like, like it sounds like she throwing stuff. But one night, 
it I don't know if it was her or not, but I wanna believe it was her because it was in the bedroom. And I heard this loud thud. I thought the bitch fell. <laughs> bitch, yeah. And then now I just know not to let it bother me because she does that a lot when if I she can't find where I am, if I'm not responding or trying to, because normally I walk away, just go to another room. Like if I stop responding, period, she'll um, start making a lot of noises. How you doing? Tell your wife I said hello, okay? Hey, how you doing? Good, I'm good. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to call the police, y'all. Well, just if I didn't tell you yet, my, my body camera is on. Okay. Recording That's audio fine. and video. That's fine. She ain't have shit. So, she, they couldn't do nothing. So, she looks stupid. I wish she would. I got plenty of evidence and plenty of people as witnesses. She gonna be paying me. Okay, we're back. Ooh, that was a good walk. I gotta get my truck started too, my red one. 